Okay, let's continue on to section 8, Management and Maintenance Operations, Performing PanOS Software Upgrades. Okay, everyone, as we begin section 8 and our final section, we need to discuss some general maintenance tasks. Obviously, we're going to be upgrading our firewall image. We need to upgrade our firewall's operating system. So, we need to understand what's the process behind upgrading your Palo Alto firewall from a general release to a upgrading the Palo Alto from a specific version to a specific version or adding an image in between that will provide some known issue fixes or is going to provide more features to your unit. So we need to understand the path that we need to take in order to bring a firewall from one specific version to another specific version. So if you take a look at my slide here, I am showing that I have a Palo Alto running in 7.1.0. So I am running PanOS 7.1.0. I want to go all the way to 8.1.0. There is uh, two types of Palo Alto software upgrades. The first one is your base image. So if you're going to upgrade to a specific PanOS version, you definitely install the base image, which is going to bring you to that level. While you're running and operating on that image, you definitely will like to do some preventive upgrades or, you know, proactive upgrades to make sure that it's running on the most stable code in this particular base. And that is your maintenance upgrade. So you have a PanOS maintenance version, which is basically some changes to the base. You basically upgrade the image from the base and you apply the maintenance to that particular base. It's 7.1.1, it's the first maintenance, and then they released 7.1.19 because you waited over, I don't know, six, eight months to perform another upgrade. You might see that they already released 719. You can go ahead and from 710 upgrade to 7119. So you want to make sure that, you know, you have all those updates up to date and you are fixing every single thread, every single bug, every single flaw in the code by applying the recommended upgrade. Okay, so this is when you are working with your current base so we want to make sure that our base image is stable so we apply those preventive maintenance updates if we want to upgrade from a specific base version to another base version we need to go obviously you're going to most certainly on a specific maintenance version what you do is you apply the base on the new version and after that this is what i do i apply the latest maintenance on my base and then go ahead and apply the new code that you want to go to. So in this case, we want to do from 7.1.0, we want to go all the way to 8.1. So we need to upgrade to a maintenance release in 7.1. It's not mandatory. You can go 7.1.0, 8.0.0, and then 8.1.0. But in my case, I would like to at least patch something in between and then go 8.0, 8.0.17, which is one maintenance image in the base, so one maintenance upgrade image in the base image, and then from there go all the way to my target image. So in this case, I want to go to A.1. Okay, so you need to understand that path. Don't ever, ever go from 7.1.0 all the way to a major release without going into the base first. First of all, the PA will throw you an error saying, well, you don't have a base. So we cannot go, for example, from 7.1.0, I cannot go and patch 8.0.17 because I need the base first. So you want to go 7.1.0, 8.0, and then go all the way to 8.1. So I'm going to demonstrate how to go from 7.1.0 in this case. We're going to do this whole upgrade path from 7.1.0 all the way to A10. So we're gonna upgrade a firewall that is running the 7.0 code, in this case 7.1.0. We're gonna bring it to A.1. And like I mentioned, so basically maintenance will provide you additional fixes on the current base that you are running. Okay, so let's go ahead and perform that upgrade and uh, we'll go from there. So what I have is a virtual firewall that I deployed in my Azure cloud resource group. So I have a resource group in Azure or I have a couple of machines and I deployed a virtual firewall, virtual Palo Alto, and it's currently running 7.1.1. We're going to upgrade this to the recommended version in 8.1. We need to go, like we mentioned on our slide, 8.0, 8.1. Let's go ahead and uh, upgrade this firewall. 
we're gonna click on device and we're gonna go all the way to the bottom and we're gonna click software click on software and you're gonna be shown all the images that you have available and you can see here that I don't have available a.1 the reason why is until I get upgraded to a.0 then you're gonna see that I'm gonna be able to go all the way to a.1 and such so the Palo Alto is intelligent enough to not provide me any image that I'm not able to upgrade to but if you download it from the Palo Alto support site then you can definitely apply but again the Palo Alto will scream telling you hey you don't have the base we cannot go all the way here so you want to make sure that you upgrade the Palo Alto in the correct path okay so we're running if you go back to the dashboard we're running software version 7.1.1 we want to upgrade do a maintenance upgrade on 7.1 and we're going to upgrade it to the latest and greatest on 7.1.1 before going to a.0 I'm going to go on device software and in this case my latest image in 7.1 it's 7.1.23 and again if you're running a specific code so say for example we are already are running a.1 make sure that you read the release notes for the particular maintenance level that you're going to because you want to make sure that there's no known issues that might affect your current production environment don't just go crazy and select the latest and greatest because even though that has been published it doesn't mean that it's stable so you want to make sure that you select an image that you review and you understand that it's completely safe to put in production because there's no non issues reported okay all right so in this case for this demonstration I want to show you how to apply a maintenance patch so let's go ahead and download so from the Palo Alto itself you can download the image and then apply it to the firewall so let's go ahead and click download so I'm going to select the latest maintenance release in 7.1 which is 7.1.23 click on download and right now we're downloading that image once we're done we should be able to patch it and upgrade to 7.1.23 let's wait for this and we should be good to go okay almost done it's being loaded into the software manager so basically that's a partition inside the Palo Alto that will hold that particular image revision okay and it has completed so let's go ahead and uh, apply the maintenance so now that we see here we have it downloaded it has been uploaded into the software manager we are good to go and install the image so let's go ahead and install the update. Once that's done, it'll probably apply and it will restart the unit. It will reload the services and uh, apply the image. Okay, and sure enough, it has completed and it's asking us to do a reboot so it can apply the maintenance upgrade. So let's go ahead and click yes and we'll wait for the PA to come back online. Here, yes, and it's telling me that it's in the process of rebooting and uh, we should wait a little bit to see that the screen has refreshed and it should prompt us to put the username and password to log in okay the firewall has come back online let's uh let me log in real quick okay logging back in let's take a look now at the firewall now we can see once the firewall has come back online we're running 7123 so that means that we had a successful upgrade let's go ahead and go to a.o but i am going to tell you that there's something very important there's a step that we need to do that is very important before we go from one version to another version and it's the fact that once you move between versions the configuration of the firewalls the syntax on the firewall of the config might change so we need to export the configuration running in this particular version before we upgrade to the next base version. The reason why is if for some reason the code is not stable, if for some reason we need to roll back, we need to reapply the old version or for somehow we had a um, catastrophic upgrade or something happened, the firewall died, didn't come back, we need to roll back to 7.1. You need to apply the configuration that was running in 7.1. So it has the syntax that is compatible with 7.1. So we want to make sure that we perform a backup of the config before going to the next base version. So let's go ahead and do a quick backup. And then, by the way, I'm going to be discussing backup on our next video. So I'm just going to do this real quick for this demonstration. So let's go ahead and uh, save the config. We're going to call this PA01. OK, 
Okay, so we know that this config was running on 7.0. You can also, you know, set the day if you want. So in this case, we're going to put today's date and we are going to save the config. And now we have it and now we can export it just in case something happens to the disk where that data has been stored. If for some reason the upgrade fails and we need to format the whole appliance in order to bring it back online, we need to make sure that we have that config already to go. And you can see here, once I did save, I can now export the config that I just saved. And sure enough, I do have the copy locally on my machine. Now we should be good to go to upgrade to 8.0. You're going to go down here again, software. And now we're running. Can you see here under currently installed? So we have a column say currently installed. We have a check mark under 7.1.23. So that's the code that we're currently running because it's actually check mark. Now we're good to go into our A.0 base. If you see here also, take a look. The base images are usually bigger than any maintenance upgrade. So they will have all the base features and prerequisites of A.0. So all that information regarding this particular image will be in the base. So that's why you need to first go onto the base and then upgrade to your preferred maintenance. So let's go ahead and download. Okay, so I am downloading 8.0.0. Okay, now the image is being loaded into the software manager. That's the uh, Palo Alto's internal partition where it stores all those images. Once we have that, we should be able to activate the image. Okay, we're good to go. Let's all go ahead and click close. And now we should have that available for install. So let's click on install and we're upgrading from 710 to 8.0. We're going from a maintenance release in 7.1. And we're going to go on to 8.00 in the base image. And it's actually telling me, please review because we're changing the, conf the, the version from 7 to 8. And if you see right here what we just mentioned, we need to perform a backup of the config that was running in 7.1 in case we need to downgrade. Because we're not going to be able to downgrade to a older version if we don't have the supported config that was running in that version. So you want to make sure that before you upgrade to another version, you perform a config backup in this old version and the previous versions. So you make sure that you, you have a backup running that is compatible with, in this case, 7.1 in case you need to roll back. And it's actually telling us that. So we're going to just click OK and that will make the Palo Alto execute the upgrade to 8.0. OK, very interesting. It's actually telling us, and this is good that it was shown on the actual video, it's actually telling us that we cannot go to 8.0. And the reason why, we need some prerequisites before going on to the, this version. In this case, the content version of this particular firewall, it's lower than 6.5.5, and we need to go to this version or higher. We're running 5.6.4. How do we do that? Very easy. Let's click close real quick. We're going to go here onto the NIMEC updates and we're going to refresh real quick and we'll see what we can download. Right now it's telling us that we have this content, which is A151. Let's go ahead and download it and apply it. And those are your application and thread, everything that is the next generation firewall features. Those are the updates that you need to run prior to having the PA running in a code that is suitable to upgrade to A.0 finish the content update definitely need to apply it okay so I just applied the content it has completed let's take a look and see if we have more updates to, to apply else we'll take a look and see if uh, we can apply the a data image and yes we sure have we have now an antivirus let's go ahead and upgrade the antivirus and make sure that we have everything good for a data okay has completed let me go ahead and install real quick Okay, has completed. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we finally are able to go to 8.0. Okay, it seems to be that we have everything that we need. Uh, let me go ahead and trigger again and see if we're lucky to go to 8.0. Let's go here. And looks like it. Alrighty, we're running the upgrade to 8.0. We'll wait for this to be completed. And uh, it definitely will require a restart, and we'll see how that goes once we are ready to log in in PanOS 8.0. Also, you want to plan your maintenance windows. 
when it comes to upgrading the Palo Alto at least with an hour because it will require the download it will require applying it and the restart so you know you want to play it safe it definitely will take like an hour to do the whole process and uh, make sure that you perform those backup configs before you execute any upgrade make sure that you do that beforehand and you back it up locally you export that to your local machine has applied the update now it's asking us to perform a firewall restart we're gonna click yes and we'll wait until the Palo Alto reboots and we get the login screen once again we'll press yes now I'm just going to pause the video and when we're back we should be running in A.0 okay so we can see that we just upgraded to A.0 you can tell by looking at the login page it has changed from the colored logging screen with the Palo Alto logo to the grayish Palo Alto logo. So I'm going to log in and we're going to go into a maintenance release and then we're going to go ahead and jump into A.1. Let me log in real quick. Okay, we're logging on to the firewall. Let's take a look at the image that is currently running. Close and sure enough, we're now running A.00. Now we're going to go and apply a maintenance upgrade in the A.0 base. And once we're done with that, we should be good to go into upgrading A.1. Okay, so if you can see here, we are running A.00. So we're currently running the base in A.00. We came from 7.1.23. This is A.00 that is currently running. And now we should have available A.1. You remember in the beginning when we were running 7.1, we didn't have the option to go to A.1, but now because we're on A.0, we can definitely go into A.1. So let's go ahead and upgrade to the latest maintenance release for A.0. And once we're done, we'll just upgrade to A.1 and we should be good to go. Okay, so I wanted to bring back the slide. So we went from 7.1.0, we went to 7.1.23. So I'm just showing 7.1.19, but we went to 7.1.23. We now executed 8.0, so our firewall is running 8.0. We're going to apply the latest in PanOS 8.0. And once we're done, we'll just apply base. Again, this is not required. I'm showing you that you can apply, you know, a maintenance on your base and go to the next available base or you can go straight from A.0 to A.1. Let's go ahead and apply this step and then we'll finalize our video with A.1. Okay, like with 7.1.23, we want to uh, download this image. We'll just wait for this to complete. We'll install and we should be good to go. Okay, it's been saved into the software manager. Okay, has completed. So let's go ahead and apply 8.0.17. We'll wait for this to complete. And it's obviously it's going to ask us to do a restart. Once we're done, we should be good to go and finalize our upgrade video to 8.1. Okay, and 8.0.17 has completed. So let's go ahead and reboot the device. We'll wait a couple of minutes and we should have the login screen back ready for us. And it seems that we completed. This one took a little bit more time, actually. You are not experiencing the time that it takes, but it takes roughly like 10 minutes for the whole process to complete. So you got to keep that in mind every time you upgrade. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, log in again. And we're logging in. We should be running that uh, maintenance release. So let's go ahead and take a look at the dashboard. Let's wait for this. And, and sure, we're running A017. Okay, so our final upgrade, we're going to go to A.1. Before we do that, remember, we're running A.0. We want to back up the config that is compatible with A.0 before going to A.1. The reason why, like we mentioned earlier, if we need to roll back to A.0, we have the configuration that is compatible with this OS. Once we upgrade, the Palo Alto will convert the running config into A.1 format. So if you're planning to roll back using the A.1 config, it's not going to work. So you've got to make sure that you perform a backup before going for a major uh, revision change. So let's go ahead and do that backup real quick. Device. Setup. Operations. We're going to save the config. Label it the same way. PA01. 
and in this case a dot zero and we're gonna put the, the date backed up and now we're gonna export it to our local machine in case the storage on the Palo Alto suffers uh, some sort of corruption if we go up and it doesn't reboot and we need to format it uh, we have the config on our local machine so let's go ahead and export the config we save it and now we're good to go and upgrade so let's go ahead again to software and uh, let's download our base so we're gonna go to a.1 now okay so let's wait for that to complete downloading we'll apply it and we'll basically perform the same procedure okay it has finished the upload onto the Palo Alto firewall let's go ahead and click install and see if uh, we get an error before proceeding so obviously like we mentioned, we performed the backup, so we should be good to go to upgrade to A.1. Press OK, and let's see if uh, we're lucky. And yes, we don't need to do any dynamic updates. We were able to go all the way to A.1. So we'll wait for this to complete, and uh, we'll restart the firewall, and we'll go from there. OK, so it's asking us to do a reboot. We're going to go ahead and perform that reboot, and we should be running on A.1 once it completes. Okay, well, I'm gonna pause the video. We'll wait for this reboot to complete. Okay, and we're back in action. We have our firewall running in A.1. Let me go ahead and log in and confirm. Confirm now that we are running in A.1. Okay, dashboard, it's loading. And boom, we are successfully running A.1.0. So you see the process. We went, and I can show you real quick here. We went all this all complete software upgrade path. We went from 7.1.1 to 7.1.3. Apply install. We went to 8.0 from 7.1.3. From 8.0, you can see here, we went to the maintenance release in 8.0, which was .17. And after I apply that, I downloaded 8.1, and I apply a.1 so we went maintenance release to a.1 base so there you have it as long as you make sure that you have your configs uh, you back up the config on every single base image so if you're running 7.1 you want to back up the config running in that version you upgrade to a.0 back up the config in a.0 upgrade to a.1 and you're good to go in case you need to roll back you have the configs in each older version so you have the configs running in the older version in case you need to roll back too all right that's upgrading your software and your palo alto firewall okay everyone in our next video we're going to take a look at performing configuration revisions backups and restores thank you for watching